bringing the people behind our food to life. The name of the bakery is Little T American Baker. When I was on the Coupe de Monde team, one of my colleagues was also named Tim, and so uh, they always call me Little T, and so that was kind of my nickname. And a lot of people in the industry, in the artisan baking world, know me as Little T. I really wanted to explicitly state that American bakers can be uh, well-trained and can produce really fantastic product. So you don't have to be a French baker or a German baker or a Danish baker or have that legacy in order to be established as a good quality baker. So I really wanted to put that in the name and claim that for our American bakers. So when we shape the loaf, we're actually uh, feeling the strength of the dough and we can use the amount of pressure in our hands to direct the dough where we want it to go. So that's how we get a nice consistent loaf every time. And then once the loaf is shaped, we place it on this uh, proofing cloth, which we call a couche. And then this is where the dough rests for its final rise. Artisan bread, uh, for me, is the combination of three important factors or considerations. The first one is, is that we use basic ingredients. So we're using uh, just flour, unadulterated flour, wheat flour normally, water, salt, yeast. Number two is that we use extended fermentation. So this is where we take the ingredients and we add that yeast or starter and we allow the, the dough to ferment for an extended period of time. And we need that extended fermentation because not only is the yeast producing the carbon dioxide gas in the dough which leavens it, but there's also bacteria which lives in the dough, and that's what's producing the flavor and aromas in the bread. It takes a long time for that bacteria to do its work and produce those uh, really wonderful, yummy flavors and good characteristics in the bread. So the third thing is that we have to have some sort of uh, hand technique. So we're uh, actually dividing and shaping the dough by hand and in that way we get a really beautiful interior crumb in the dough. Scoring bread is kind of like writing a signature. Like I can tell who's baked based on the scoring. And when we're scoring the bread, we're actually um, giving the energy in the loaf a place to go. So we're actually directing the final appearance and volume of the, of the loaf based on how we score the bread. So if we score this way, straight across, we're gonna get uh, a smaller loaf than if we do cuts parallel to the loaf, which give it more access to open up. All flour is not created equal. There are actually hundreds of varieties of wheat. The way that they're, they're grown and uh, where they're grown all has, a real, has an impact on the final product. The type of bread flour that we use is normally grown as a winter wheat. And what that means is that the, the wheat is planted in the fall and it's allowed to grow very slowly and it's harvested the following summer. It's in the ground uh, an extended period of time. It has more time to gather nutrients and it gives us that higher quality protein which allows us to ferment the dough for a longer period of time. A spring wheat uh, is really good for a shorter fermentation process with um, with a dense crumb, so things like a white pan bread, or a bagel, or, uh, or even pizza dough. What I love about baking bread is the magic of the process. So I really am amazed still every day of taking these uh, three or four ingredients, you know, flour, water, salt, and manipulating them in a way that we create this magnificent loaf of bread. And I'm always like humbled by that process and that experience. Yummy. The biggest joy of being a baker is that it's a place where the neighborhood comes on a daily basis. And we see the same people uh, every single day coming in, getting a cup of coffee, uh, a roll, 
or a little pastry in the morning or a sandwich for lunch. So uh, we see these people every day and we get to have a relationship with them and we get to be a place where community happens. So it's one of those um, side effects of what we do, but that, that's actually probably what brings me the most joy now. One of the challenges for, uh, for home bakers is having the right oven. We have to have a wet environment in the oven so that the crust doesn't set immediately. There are a couple techniques that we um, recommend for that. 